Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Bender and today I have a great quick 10 minute per round dumbbell workout for you. So if you haven't already, grab some dumbbells. I have two sets of dumbbells here with me um, so I can fluctuate a little bit between arm, back and legs. I have a set of 20 pound dumbbells and a set of 12 pound dumbbells. So grab whatever's gonna be nice and challenging for you. You want to be able to complete your reps with good form. Um, if you max out, if you hit the point where you cannot do any more reps, that's fine. That means you're in that muscle building zone and you're building strength. So don't worry about it. Just get back into it as soon as you can because we are doing timed intervals, 50 seconds, as many reps as you can get in, 10 seconds of rest between exercises. Okay, guys, I have my dumbbells ready and to the side here, we're going to be starting with a squat and a curl. We have 10 seconds of prep time. Um, so I'm going to grab my 12 pounds for this one. Let's see. So for our squats, here we go. We're going to reach our butt back. Weight comes down in between the legs. Neck is neutral. As we come up, we're squeezing the glutes and we're doing a curl. Bring it back down. Nice and control on that lift and lower. There you go. Breathe through it. Doing great. Keep moving. So keep that butt reaching back on every squat. Neck neutral, we are almost there. Five seconds, you can do this. Okay, release. We're gonna go into horse stance, good mornings. So you could do this with or without weights. We're gonna take a nice wide stance, toes slightly angled out, weight at your shoulders, and then we're gonna tilt forward, butt reaching back, back flat, squeeze up, tuck that tailbone under, repeat. And if two dumbbells is too much, you can hold one at your shoulders like this. Flat back is that key component of this move. Breathe. Excellent. Using those glute muscles to stand back up, but keeping our hips low. Good job, guys. Breathe through it. Oh, saved by the bell. Okay, next we're gonna have a single arm row. I'm gonna try out the 20s on these, work those back muscles a little bit more. Okay, one hand is braced on the thigh, back is flat. Dumbbell comes to the outside of the rib cage. So like you are starting a lawnmower. Breathe. Oh yeah, I feel that extra weight already. Here we go. You can do this. Excellent, just keep moving. Using those back and arm muscles to help you through this month, through this exercise. Less than 10 seconds. Good job, we're gonna do same thing to the other side. I will turn around here, get my weight ready. So shake it out if you need to. <laughs> Here we go again. So these single-sided exercises are excellent for um, getting rid of muscular imbalances. We always have one side of our body that is stronger. For example, I am right-handed. So of course my right side is a little stronger than my left. Um, but when you use one arm at a time, it doesn't let that strong side pick up the extra work. So it helps to equal out imbalances and that works for the arms and the legs. <laughs> Breathe. So if you wonder why, why do you do so many right and left exercises? That's the reason. <laughs> There's always a method behind the madness. 
Okay, next we have tricep drops. So we're gonna grab the dumbbell overhead and drop it down. Here we go. Core strong throughout this, supporting the back. Breathe through it, you can do this. You are doing a fantastic job. Excellent. Nice controlled up and down. Both sides of the exercise, the lift and the lower are important. Almost there guys. Last few seconds. I know my arms are starting to shake here for those last few reps, so good stopping point. Next we have a Romanian deadlift. So again, you can use one or two dumbbells for this. We're going to let the arms lower a little bend in the knees, weight stay close. You're gonna push through the heels, squeeze through those glutes to lift all the way up. Next day is neutral, so try not to look forward like that. Kind of let your eyes be more down. Breathe. Excellent, guys. Push through those heels to stand and squeeze the glutes. So think about activating the backs of the thighs. That's your hamstring muscles. And pushing that butt back so we have a nice flat back. Excellent. We are almost there. Good job. And next we have... A twist, a weighted twist. So we're gonna grab one dumbbell for this one. Easiest modification, heels stay on the floor. If you need to do just body weight, just tap. If you can add the weight, you can either tap outside, keeping heels on the floor, or make it a little harder, adding that balance. Breathe. Focusing on using those core muscles to twist. So we're not just using the momentum to like throw our back around. Anytime we're doing a twist, muscles are controlling the motion, protecting your back and getting stronger. Keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Last two exercises, we're not gonna have any weight for. Or last three exercises, sorry guys. I'm always trying to skip one. <laughs> okay, so we have the beast plank walk next. Core is gonna stay strong. Toes tuck, core is strong. We're gonna step, step. So walking from beast, which is this, to plank. Breathe through it. Nice and controlled. So back is staying relatively still. Hips are in the same plane the entire time, just those feet are moving and you should feel the core working. I know I do already. Breathe through it. Less than 10 seconds. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do side planks to finish up. So you could do this on your forearm or an extended arm, your choice. You wanna make it more challenging, grab a weight, hold it at your hip. Um, and hardest, feet are stacked like mine are right now. You can stagger them if you need a little better balance point. If this is still too crazy, do this as long as you can, that regular side plank, you can modify like this, one knee down, other leg floating. You're gonna feel those obliques working. So it's a great way to build your side plank. But you do wanna do the standard side plank for as long as you can before switching over. Breathe. Doing great, guys. Only one exercise left and then we're done with one round of this workout. Good job, guys. And other side. 
We'll just flip right over. You can roll over if you prefer. Here we go. So last one, you can do this. Side planks are really challenging for people um, because a lot of times we think about working the front of our core really consistently, even the back consistently, but the obliques, that's the side muscles of your core, don't necessarily get as much work. Um, so a lot of people find this move particularly challenging, but through practice, you will build up the strength in those muscles. And then you'll be ready for some of the harder side plank modifications that are out there that I share in some of my other workouts. <laughs> Doing great, guys. We are almost there. I would love to hear what you think of this workout. Give me that thumbs up if you liked it. Um, click subscribe if you haven't already. There we go. Okay, and we are done for today. Uh, let's stand up here. So as always, you will find the full breakdown Activity of this completed. workout. Happy dance time. <laughs> um, on my website, Bender Fitness dot com along with over a thousand other free workouts that you can do at home or anywhere wherever you go um so for this workout i did this routine last week i did one round for time i did one round for reps doing 20 reps for exercise you can switch it up if you'd like uh they both are beneficial the the challenge varies a little bit just depending on how you are doing it okay I like both. Um, time pushes me in one way and reps push me in an entirely different way. So I really like to do one of each so I get both dynamics. As always, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about the workout, if you had a favorite move. Um, and you can go to patreon.com slash bender fitness if you are able to help make a donation to help keep us free and sustainable uh, so that we can keep doing this. I appreciate you guys working out with me and I will see you soon with another new workout. Bye guys.